Now, if you've been feeling sick and experiencing signs of COVID-19, but test negative for the virus, you're not alone. Medical experts say there are people who have tested negative for COVID-19 multiple times who then suddenly test positive. It takes a certain viral load to trigger a positive test. And so when you're initially exposed, that virus may not have had an opportunity to replicate to the point where it's detectable on a test. News for Jack's reporter Eric Abney is live with more insight into why this is happening. So Eric, first off, how'd you find out about this? We'll get this, Tarek. I learned about this from conversations I had with several nurses who work at a nearby hospital. In fact, one of the nurses told me about a patient who had all the signs and symptoms of COVID-19, tested negative three consecutive times, then on the fourth test, uh, finally tested positive. A health official I spoke with from the health department says there is a reason why this is happening. While hundreds of people continue to line up each day to be tested for coronavirus, some may be getting their results and asking how did they not test positive when they know they are experiencing symptoms of the virus or they know they have been in contact with someone who is infected. Dr. Pauline Roll of the Duval County Health Department is familiar with people's frustrations over this issue. I know folks get concerned that, oh, maybe the test wasn't reliable or maybe that person didn't do a good job of swabbing me or what have you. And that is not necessarily the case. In some cases, um, they, they may not have had enough viral load uh, available in their body to be detectable by the test. This can happen a lot when someone decides to immediately get tested after learning they had just come in contact with an infected person. It can take two to 14 days um, to show symptoms of COVID-19 or for the virus to be detectable in your body. Dr. Rowe says this means the virus is not going to be detectable within the first day of exposure. She also says a negative test result that eventually turns positive can sometimes mean a person is sick from something <laughs> else like the flu or allergies which have similar symptoms to COVID-19. Those initial symptoms may or may not be related to COVID and at some point during the course they could have been exposed to COVID and now have a positive test. And because of these dynamics, it appears testing for COVID-19 is not slowing down. We are definitely seeing those who've been tested three, four or five times, um, some of which have had all negative tests and others who have um, now have a positive test. Now, Dr. Roll also says they are now seeing more children being tested for COVID-19 coming up at 11. I'll have a full report on that from outside Wolfson's Children's Hospital. Reporting live just outside Lot J in downtown Jacksonville, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.